Hey guys, it's the How To Guy One Two Three here, and today uh, I have a quick tutorial on how to fix a vertical video. You know, when you film on your phone and you film in portrait mode, and then when you try and upload it to uh, a video sharing site like YouTube or Facebook, you got these big black bars on the side, and they're really ugly and annoying. Well, I'm gonna show you guys how to fix those in Vegas Pro 15, but it's pretty much the same concept with um, other editing softwares. Uh, it's just uh, we're not we're not really gonna fix it like we can't like stretch it out and make it not in make it in landscape mode but we're just gonna actually like make it look kind of kind of better uh yeah just we, we won't have this like ugly block bars on the side we'll just make it look kind of nice so uh, let's go ahead and uh, get right into it all right so the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna import our clip um using this button here I'm using Pro 15, Sony Vegas Pro 15, pretty much the same same thing in other versions of Vegas, and like I said, same concept, probably a little bit different, uh, like the way you do it, it's probably different on other um, editing softwares, but like the concept is pretty much the same. So uh, we're going to go on to, let me just find my video, right here, we're going to go ahead and click open. So here's uh, my video here, uh, when you drag it into the timeline here, and it asks you if you want to... Uh, uh, set your project video to match this media or pro yeah project settings to match this media uh, We will just click yes. I Don't know why the audio is off, but it doesn't really matter. There's no, there's no audio uh, to this video really um, Basically, it's just a parking lot and it's snowing uh, Canadian winter, you know uh, Nothing too much going on here, but should be fine for this example and what we're gonna go ahead and do is um, I'm gonna, th there's a couple of ways we can do this, but I'm just gonna show you the way I, I do, uh, I fix the vertical video, but I'll show you guys some other methods, uh, at the end. So what I like to do is I like to pick a frame in the video. So right now it's in, uh, it's in vertical mode still. So, uh, pick any frame. I'll pick, uh, this frame here and I'm gonna take a screenshot of the video, uh, by clicking this button here and we'll just call it, um, image one that's fine and we're gonna go up here to our project settings and we're gonna change the resolution so right now the width is smaller than the height so the width here is uh, 2160 and the height is 3840 so uh, when the, the width is smaller than the height we get a vertical video so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually flip these so what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight the height I'm gonna oh, I almost drop my phone there um, or elbowed it off the table um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit control X to cut the height and we're gonna type 2160 and here we'll just paste the former height and we will just click apply and okay and what it did here is it turned our video into a landscape mode or horizontal mode I guess and but you can see here we now have these black bars so what I'm gonna do is I just blew into the mic but anyways we are going to create a new track so we're gonna right click in this um, this area here we're gonna click insert video track we're gonna drag it under our video so our video is right here and we're gonna drag image one under it um, once you've done that we're going to make it whoops we're gonna drag it to the same size uh, in length on the video track and we're gonna right click on it and we're gonna go to switches and uncheck maintain aspect ratio and what's that gonna do or what that is gonna do is it's gonna uh, make it so this image fills the entire screen and you can see now we have this big mess uh, in the preview here but we're gonna fix it and make it look nicer so we're gonna go here to video effects and we're gonna scroll down to Gaussian blur and we're gonna put a medium blur you can choose whatever one you want but I just like medium blur we're gonna drag it onto image one and you can see now that it's it looks a lot nicer we have our video here and then the image now is kind of blurred and it, it looks so much better than having the black bars in my opinion now you can make it um, more more blurry I guess or now you can just mess these to make them to the way you like them that looks fine we're just gonna hit the X here now next thing I'm gonna do is I saw this on another video 
Um, I don't remember his username, but I'll, I'll, I'll link it in the description. But what this guy did was he clicked on these three bars here, and we're gonna open or click on uh, track motion, and we're gonna check 2D shadow. And what that does, it, it puts a shadow. Oh yeah, by the way, we did this on the track with our video, not the image. Um, so here you can see that we now have a shadow behind our video and it looks kind of nice, but you can see it's only kind of like on one side of the video, but to make it go totally around the video, we're going to, uh, under position, click on X, the X, bo the X box here and change that to zero. And we're going to do the same with the Y. So now that you'll see it kind of fills on both sides equally and if you want to change the blur make it kind of go out more you can do you can just click on blur here and make this larger I think uh, set five before and I think that looked pretty good maybe actually we'll go we'll go seven and yeah and if you want to make it uh, I wouldn't really mess with the intensity you can if you want but a lot that's pretty much it so, yeah, so that's pretty much how you improve your vertically filmed videos. Honestly, if you if you don't want to do all this work, you could just turn your phone horizontally and make it fill the screen. But, yeah, um, I'll show you guys a couple other things you could do. So, I'm just going to mute this right here. And uh, you don't even have to take a screenshot of this video. You could put whatever video you want. So, I'm going to go back into our project media. Uh, and I am going to import this video, or not this video, this picture here. And we're going to create a new video track. And I just got this this picture off Google Images. And it's the same resolution as our project. So it's 3840 by 2160. And that's the same size as this uh, picture. Oh, by the way, your numbers might be this different. Like your resolution really depends on what you film the video in. What your phone films in. So my phone films in 4K. And uh, this is the, this is the uh, resolution for a 4K video, but yours might be like 1080p, so 1920 by 1080, or vertically 1080 by 1920. But you really don't have to worry about this or that. Um, yeah, so I just drag it to the same size, and you see that, that looks pretty nice. You can even you can have a picture that you made yourself. Maybe have like your your logo on each side. These are just examples. Do whatever you want. Do what you like. Um, also, what you can do, we'll mute that. What I saw in another video, the video I mentioned before, what he did was he duplicated this track. So he came over here, he duplicated it. So now he has uh, two videos. So this is the video on top, the video you'll, you'll see. And he pretty much did the same thing. He right clicked, went to switches, maintain aspect ratio. And then he went to video effects, pretty much exactly what we did, but he, instead of using a screenshot, he used his video. You can do that as well, but I just think it kind of looks trippy, I guess. It doesn't look, it's, it's kind of like distracting, I guess, in my opinion. But you could totally do that if you want as well. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like if this helped. Leave a like. Uh, you can subscribe if you want. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.